Hello Hunger Lounge channel, uh, I will show you Calle Crisologo and Vigan, Ilocosur province. It's one of the country's most stunning alleys despite being barely 500, 500 meters long. It has a significant number of beautiful tungsten lamps, old cobblestone st streets and stone buildings that date back hundreds of years. Horse-drawn carriages or calesas are still utilized for transportation in this area. The roadway is actually a pedestrian-only pedestrian area, with the exception of calesas used to go to the town's historic sites. A handful of ancestral homes have been transformed into eateries that offer empanadas and a locust bagnet, a deep fried pork belly. Some of them are now hotels and outlets selling authentic Enavel beadings as gifts. Visitors can find numerous well-made wooden pitches positioned all along Calle Crisologo. The famous Ilocana poet, author, and dramatist Governor Marcelo Mina Crisologo is responsible for the name Calle Crisologo. The street was formerly known as Calle de Escolta de Vigan, and the majority of the residents were families who benefited from galleon trade, which included Ilocos as a significant port. The roadway was renamed Calle Crisologo in memory of the late governor after his passing in 1927. The street is a piece of charming heritage village and vegan, which is UNESCO World Heritage Site. There are about 200 exquisitely preserved 16th century homes in this area, particularly evident is the fusion of native Filipino and colonial European building styles and structures on its Crisologo. Since it was nominated in 1989, it took 10 years for Vigan to be designated a World Heritage Site. According to rumors, the town has been passed over the inclusion for a long time since it did not measure up to other Spanish colonial cities like Trinidad, Cuba, and Cartagena, Colombia. Advocates from the local government community argued that a vegan's architecture should more closely resemble the historic Asian commerce centers like Hoi An, Malacca, or Macau, a long fact, rich Chinese who relocated to Ilocosur to start enterprises, also known, own a significant number of homes in Calidus Crisologo. In the end, referencing the city's lengthy history as its trading post was successful. How to get there or to reach the, uh, the area? The least expensive alternative for getting from Manila to Vigan is via bus, but plan on driving for 8 to 10 hours. There are various bus companies that operate the straight Vigan route, including upscale ones like Partas Bus in Cubao and Pariñas Transit and Pasay that provide Wi-Fi, TV, and restroom as well as more affordable regular bus companies like Dominion Bus, Aniceto Bus, and Viron Transit. Since many of these sites are best visited and food, the dry season, which runs from November to May, is the ideal time to see Calle Crisologo and other attractions in a vegan city.